The town of Davidson is making some changes to the downtown area to keep people safe as they cross the street. Queen City News Northeast Bureau Chief Sydney Heiberger is in Davidson tonight. And Sydney, the town has really been prioritizing pedestrian safety over the past year. Last summer, the town of Davidson implemented the Pedestrian Safety Task Force after a 64 year old woman was killed in this intersection in downtown Davidson. And since then, the town has been implementing some of those safety recommendations from that task force. Walk sign is on for all crossing. We are a college town and pedestrian safety is, is just in our, our DNA. Town leaders prioritizing pedestrian safety in downtown Davidson comes on the heels of several incidents over the past five years, including three pedestrian deaths. Obviously, there's a speed limit, but if you don't like obey it, then there's a possibility that somebody can get run over. Wait. Over the past few years, town leaders have invested more than a million dollars in improving safety for those walking downtown. Some of that investment has gone towards flashing pedestrian lights at crosswalks in the area, plus hybrid beacons at the Griffith Street roundabouts set to be complete in November. And I've also noticed how like they're bright. Like they have lights and they're bright, which is very helpful. The latest addition, three of these LED no turn on red signals. Our downtown area, it's a very vibrant downtown and there's a lot of things going on. A lot of things competing for drivers and pedestrians uh, attention. A step in the right direction, but some say they'll still take extra precautions. I'm always a little untrustworthy of cars just because you never know. Some people are texting or just not paying attention. Now I did get a chance to correspond with someone from that pedestrian safety task force. He said these intersection additions are wonderful, but the town still has a long way to go before it's fully bike and pedestrian friendly. In Davidson, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.